The aftermath of the Max Verstappen-Lewis Hamilton clash from the British Grand Prix has led to something akin to a war of words between the two teams. Both teams feel wronged by the narrative put forward by the other, and they have now made their displeasure known once again. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, Toto Wolff feels Red Bull made it so personal, Red Bull call it unjustified. While speaking to Motorsport, Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff began by putting forth his thoughts. I think you can understand that from a competitor's point of view, the situation was upsetting. I can understand that. Nevertheless, the language that was used in making it so personal was a level that we have not seen in this sport before. He then added that he is willing to restore a professional relationship with Red Bull. I think once the emotions are down, we will try to restore our professional relationship for the sake of Formula 1, but beyond that, there were no discussions and don't need to be. He also revealed the mindset of Lewis Hamilton. I think he's pretty relaxed about it, honestly. It is a very polarizing story and some of the comments that were made were very personal and probably inflamed the situation more, but overall he's good. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner meanwhile responded to Wolf on Red Bull's official website. I would like to respond to some comments I have seen from Toto, who is quoted as saying our comments regarding Hamilton having caused the accidents were so personal. He then explained why the emotions exhibited by them immediately after the crash were justified. I would like to make it clear, this was an on-track incident between two of the best drivers in the world. At the point in time when you have a driver in hospital and the extent of any injuries have not yet been made clear, your car has been written off and the stewards have penalised the driver seen to be responsible, it is natural that emotion comes into play, for all involved, whether you feel wrong or victorious. He also criticised the narrative put forth about Max. I also felt the narrative that Max was being overly aggressive at that stage was unjustified. You only have to look at the fact Max has zero penalty points on his license and has not been found guilty of any on-track misjudgments in recent years. The aggressive 17-year-old F1 rookie Max Verstappen that Hamilton is referring to is not the Max Verstappen of today, just as Hamilton is not the same driver he was when he entered the sport. He signed off by suggesting that Hamilton has finally met his match in a competitive car. The reality is that Hamilton has met his match in a car that is now competitive, and I agree that both drivers need to show each other respect, but Hamilton was the aggressor on Sunday. Fast feed Retired world champion Nico Rosberg has stated that, as a fan, it is such an awesome battle to follow because it is a battle of the generations, referring to the ongoing Max-Lewis rivalry. It is the best of the current generation with the best of the future generation, and it marks a generational change, he added. It does remind him of his battle with Lewis, but it was different because their battle was team internal, which added a layer of complexity. This is exactly what F1 needed after all the years of Lewis domination. It's the next step for the sport, he concluded. Williams' George Russell pointed out that they always go backwards on Sunday. It's not because they're doing badly on Sunday, it's mainly they're just doing really well on Saturday. Alpine's Esteban Ocon is pretty sure they solved the problem they had. They didn't just change chassis. A lot of other things have changed in the background as well. He added that the Monday after Austria they discovered something that they wondered if it could be the issue. All I care about now is that I feel good now. I was immediately competitive when I first got out on track at Silverstone, as it should be. That was a lot better, Ocon surmised. Toto Wolff feels that Formula E drivers Nick de Vries and Stoffel van Dorn have the talent and the work ethic and the intelligence to be in Formula 1. Stoffel was thrown in a situation with McLaren that was difficult to handle back in the day. They both deserve to be in Formula 1, and he would very much hope they can find their way back, he added. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko has revealed that the accident engine is in Japan at Honda. They cannot yet say whether it can be used again after the violent impact. Retired F1 driver Ralf Schumacher feels that Max Verstappen will not be scared. He will not take his foot off the gas. He'll just maybe look in his rearview mirrors a bit more often. Ferrari's Carlos Sainz has stated that, unfortunately, it has happened to him now a few times that he's stuck behind a McLaren not being able to pass. It's not news that they have a very strong straight-line speed, very strong deployment and power on the exit of corners, and it is probably one of the most difficult cars to overtake, he added. Alpine's Fernando Alonso hopes that they can keep the sprint qualifying format, and if anything, he will suggest Fridays could be more spicy as well. You know, like having one set of tyres and one attempt for everybody, it gives the same chance for all of them. 
Do you like Alonso's idea of giving drivers only one set of tyres and one chance to set their qualifying lap time? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.